What's going on guys? Apex Gamer 2020 here, coming at you with another SnowRunner episode. In this episode, we're going to be going around gathering some uh, upgrades. we got five more upgrades to gather in this entire region, and we're going to go get them. So first thing we got to do is start our truck up. Okay, take the fucking break off, and we have another version, which is a mod I just downloaded. Um, it's just like the CK, the CK-1500 over there that we used in uh, previous episodes, but this is a modded version of it. Um, I don't own the mod, credit goes out to the proper modder, but this thing is pretty beefed up. Alright, so let's find our first mod. We may not get to all the mods in the entire region in this episode, as we have five to get. But we will definitely get the three in this region. So we have to go get to this one first. And then we'll head up to this one here. And then we'll go up and get the farthest one, which is way up there. I gather we're probably going to grab some gas here before we head up for this one. Alright, let's get to it. This thing sounds amazing. This thing has engageable all-wheel drive. Oh, wow. Front kind of came up on here. We got chain tires on it. Look at that all-wheel drive and it just pushes itself right out like it's nothing. First person's a bad idea. We got 44 inch tires on this freaking thing. I got this thing's probably gonna tip pretty easily. Oh, there it goes. And we're good. We're back. Oh, no, we're not. Uh oh. Are we gonna make it? Come on. And we're good. We're good. Well, now we know how easily this thing flips, so we gotta be extra careful. While we don't have to worry too much about getting stuck in the mud, we will have to worry about flipping this thing. It's got a lot of horsepower. We have stuff, oh wow, we have stuff on our trunk there that will uh, repair us. We have stuff in the bed of the truck that will repair us. So we just got to make sure we don't flip. And this thing wants to flip no matter if I touch the gas. Look at all of that black smoke coming out of it. Turbo diesel engines. Because this thing's so off roady, we're gonna take this thing literally off road. And see how she does. I feel like this would be one of those vehicles that was really intended for like rock climbing, but at the same time, it flips so easily that I'm not sure I'd want to use it for rock climbing. Look at that, I just touch those rocks and the whole back end flies up on me. Oh boy. Okay, we're stuck on this tree here, so we're just going to kind of head back up this way. Keep in mind we have all-wheel drive on, and we might be not be able to navigate through this. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're trying to flip here. Alright, let's try to get back on the trail. We're going to climb up over these rocks right here. Come back in the all wheel our automatic here. Oh, look at the power over those rocks. Climbed over them like they were nothing. Phenomenal. Okay, let's see here. Oh, whack into that tree. and watching them this little pathway over here. Wow, I think some. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, then. Can we still use our winch? No, we can't. All right, so we have to recover it. Now, uh, let's see. I'm kind of debating whether or not to use, continue to use this thing now, because holy cow does this thing flip easy. Uh, we got 1,250-ish meters, I think. Meters or miles or however that's gauge. I think it's meters. We gotta cover all that distance. Oh snap! Look at that! Wow! 
and the detail of it too. I'm wondering if chain tires aren't exactly too great for this, even though it actually says excellent off-road and ice, good in the mud, and average on-road. I don't know, I believe this actually said they were good on-road. 44-inch lift kit. I might have needed the V2 version of the... Look at that, guys. That's amazing how easy it is to flip. And just like that, we gotta recover it again. Holy crap. I'm debating whether or not to use this thing now. We'll give it one more chance. I'm just feathering the throttle going around that. I mean, great as this thing's supposed to be for off-road, I'm really not, uh, not too thrilled about this mod. No offense to the creator, I'm sure his intentions were not this, but look at that. Come into this mud here just to check it out. Not even an all-wheel drive, and it's kind of pushing its way out, but if we get all-wheel drive in the gauge, it comes out a little bit easier. As a matter of fact, I'm actually surprised how, how well it got stuck in there just now. I'm wondering if I don't have the wrong build for this truck. Maybe I built it to be too beefy. Or the type of engine that's in there. You just gotta be very, very careful. Look at that. Oh, here we go again. Oh, we haven't flipped out just yet. Let's see if we can recover this. Doesn't look like it. Oh, we're too far over to the right. Let's uh, see if we can winch. Pull ourselves back onto our tires. Nope. And we flip her again. On the maze. Unbelievable. Look at that. We're just going to keep on rolling right down the mountain. Now, if I can turn the wheels this way, maybe I can counteract it. Maybe, oh, and we saved it. All right, guys. Let's keep right on. Oh, 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 there we go. Look at that. I just tried to back up and go back on the road, and we flipped. All right, guys. We're not going to keep going with this truck. This this thing is just absolutely a terrible. Oh, we're going to flip. Nope. Okay. So we are not going to use this truck, guys. It's just way too... Way too flippy. We've already wasted seven and a half minutes of this episode trying to get this thing to go for us. That being said, we are going to definitely uninstall this mod. No offense to the modder, it's just this thing is not what I thought it was going to be. So we're going to give the Hummer H2 a shot at it. Now this thing is not exactly... You know, it's not exactly fast. This is this is full throttle right here. Now there are other uh, Hummer mods that I have installed, but I want to try the base mod first. Or the base, ma base model, I should say. Now this does not have a differential lock, but it does have all-wheel drive. We're going to avoid that puddle for this one. We really need to get to the next upgrade. We're just going to kind of continue down the path we were going before. Now, I really deem the thing to be kind of durable. It can't really handle too much deep mud. And it's really going to get stuck on this rock for us. Can we get up out of that? Oh, wow. We're really going to get hung up on that little rock. There we go. We got out of it. Ah. Let's get all-wheel drive installed, or not installed, but activated. I guess I'm going to have to pay a little closer attention to the builds that I create. The interior of the last truck we're using is the same as the original CK1500. I mean, like I said, on that last truck, I was just kind of touching the throttle, just trying to get moving. Maybe it works for other people, but that's, that truck's just not for me. Alrighty, let's try... I think we can snake through here. I think we tried to snake through here the last time. I don't remember how well how well that went over. Well, I mean, considering it was the last truck, I don't think it did too, too well. I think this is a road right there, though. I wonder if we can... Yeah, we're going to have to... I don't think this thing's going to climb over those rocks like that other truck did. 
So, I mean, there is a bit of downfall. But I think the, the Con 39 Marshall, that doesn't sit 44 inches high, and that thing flips easily. So it's kind of expected for the that other truck there to flip out on us. Even the Hummers want to do it right here. Just got to be very, very careful. Oh, there we go. And again, I'm just touching the throttle through that, but maybe I can recover right here. There we go. We're good. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to be careful about how I drive at an angle. So I guess what we're going to do... Yeah, because this thing's trying to flip on us again. It's very unstable. I don't know what's up with the stability of these vehicles lately. It's just insane. Alright, so let's just kind of ride the coast and see if we can't get there this way. It shouldn't be too much of an issue trying to ride the coast. But I guess we'll find out when we get there. Okay, we've already wasted 10 liters of fuel. Oh, there's some damage. We have wasted 10 liters of fuel trying to get to this place already, and we are still 600 or so meters away. That's okay though, looks like we got a straight shot in here. As long as we stay out of the heavy muck with this thing, we should be okay. I wonder what that sign up here says. Danger, what does it say here? Water subject to sudden rise and violent turbulence. Okay, well we ain't gotta worry about that. Okay, what are we gonna cross here? I think our best bet is to cross right along the rocks here. I don't really see a whole lot of other options. Now that current's gonna just carry us a little bit if we're not careful. Depending on how deep it is. And I don't see any winch points, so let's hope we don't get stuck here. Okay, we got it. We made it. Okay, just another 400 or so meters to go, and we're going to make it. Now, the next one, we're still going to try to hit that gas station, because this does not have 120 liters of fuel like our last truck did. Alright, we're going to try to cut through here. Shortcuts are your, really the best bet to save on gas, if it's a clear shot. Like this, this is kind of wide open terrain, a lot of winch points. So it's not a bad way to go right here. You gotta make sure you tick it nice and slow, take your time. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, what happened? What did I hit? A tree. Oh, am I stuck? Oh, yeah, it's in automatic, not reverse. Alright, let's go back to automatic. Okay, let's see. Now we're just gonna kinda ride this coast all the way around. Now, the other truck probably could have made it through that deep water. Okay, this thing's trying to act out on us again. Because we're, you know, there's a huge mountain right to our right here. So we got to try to go up at an angle a little bit. See, that's kind of hopping on me right there. Okay, now we're going to have to come up to the dam. I didn't realize this came across the dam. See, this is why we really should have planned, or planned out our route, but we for whatever reason we did. Trying to do a little off-roading here. Okay, we just gotta be very careful here because we're really susceptible to flipping. So let's try to get up top of the hill here because the more times we roll, I really have a chance to counteract if I turn the wheels the other direction. So we're gonna try to avoid that and get up on the dam there. Pretty sure that water down there is a little too deep to cover. Oh boy. Uh oh, this looks like it's going to be pretty intense to try to cover. Okay, what is going to happen here? Okay, are we going to be able to make it? I'm thinking if we winch, we get the attached to the proper winch point. Oh! 
Nope. Okay, come on now. I gotta try to hold this if I can put the e-brake on. Okay, so I got the e-brake on. Now let's see if we can winch like right to that tree there. Okay, we're gonna take the e-brake off and we're gonna try to winch, winch, winch our way out of here. There we go. Easy peasy. Now we're back on level ground. Now we just gotta kinda navigate away from these trees. Uh oh, now we gotta go back downhill. I still don't see a way up to the road. We might be in trouble here. Yeah, because the road's all the way over this way. Oh, guys, I really got us to do a pickle here. I don't really see a way out of this, unless I can cross. Uh oh, I might have just got stuck right here. Let's try to go this way. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, we got out. Okay, good. All right, now, can I cross right here? That's a big no. Okay, guys, I think at this point, to save some time, our best bet's going to be to recover, because then we're going to have to go all the way back around down there and go up to th that way. So we're just going to go ahead and recover, go back to the garage, and we're going to replan our route. So basically what we're going to want to do now is get rid of our waypoint. Oh, I don't understand. We were following the wrong waypoint to begin with. We were trying to go right here. Wow. Alright, so let's try this again. And that's only, and that's less than a thousand meters away. So basically we're just going to take the same route we normally did in my last video about how to make money. We're going to take that same route in this Hummer here, which I think the interior of this looks pretty good. Again, it's not at all fast, but it's a little more closer to the ground. fog now we'll turn some headlights on here so we can see where we're going it's probably about to get dark okay so normally we take that really bad road but that's got some, a lot of deep water so what we're gonna do I don't know what I just hit there so what we're going to do is we're going to try to cross this farm field right here. Now this looks pretty mucky, so we know we're going to need our wheel drive. Oh, wow, that's deeper than I thought it was. Oh, boy, that's bad. That's bad. Can we get up it, though? And there's no wedge points to get us out of this either, so we got to rely on all-wheel drive. Okay, we made it up. Wow, that was a lot deeper than I thought it was. Holy crap. Oh, we're going to struggle getting through this. If I can't come over here to the right just a little bit and keep out of that water. Okay, let's head into uh, low gear. Let's go into really low gear. Okay, so this is a bad idea to bring this truck through here. We have no winch points. I never thought in a million years I'd have this problem getting from point A to point B. This game really does challenge you. So we're stuck. We got to recover once again. Alright guys, we're going to make one final attempt to get to our objective. And then we're going to end this episode and then maybe plan out our route just a little bit better. 
Third time's the charm, right? Okay, so here we are at our normal route. See, I know I've got vehicles that I know will make it there not easy peasy, but why do that if we're not going to challenge ourselves? we got to break out all the vehicles every now and again. And I'm sure in other videos you guys have seen the other ones parked, so I wanted to give these other vehicles a chance. Like the con, for example. The con would have gotten through that just fine. We will gather the other video or the other upgrades in a different video. I also encourage you guys to check out my Discord, as you guys will be seeing updates there. About when I do some live streaming, and we will be doing some live streaming, hopefully starting next week, early next week. I'm going to be doing a few test runs on some streaming and see how well it goes. And I'm sure you guys will end up seeing that at some point. You'll see me go live, just kind of screwing around, trying to figure things, figure some things out. Alright, so just like the original other truck there in the last video, we are going to try to stay at the far right here. Because this gets pretty deep alongside here. Yeah, that was pretty simple. Uh oh, might as well too soon. Let's head into low gear and see if we can get out of this. Oh yeah, we're pushing through pretty quick. Okay, here we go. And we're moving on. We're going to a bit of a high gear. That should help us get through this. Maybe we should have stayed, oh, yeah, we should have stayed in automatic, I guess. Actually, let's go low gear, the higher version of low gear here. I'm going to start calling it, like, high one, or high low, high, I don't know. i got to come up with a system for it so I don't get all confused. We should, oh, we're going to kind of go to the right here and avoid that water. I'm not confident that this Hummer will get me out of that. I think this thing has a race suspension eventually when we level up. Okay, I think we can go handle back to automatic now. Okay. We don't dare take off all-wheel drive. In some vehicles, that's really a saving grace, but in others, it's just simply not enough. And I don't think it's compatible for vehicles that it should be, like the Con 39 Marshall. Oh, we're kind of drifting off the road there a little bit. This thing's getting a little jumpy at me. Alright, it was just a little 200 meters to go. I think we will make it to this point. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, so this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for the Hummer, so we're just going to take our next left-hand turn. Alright, so here's our first left-hand turn. Now we're just going to kind of swing left. Uh oh we're getting stuck already. We're not even into the water area yet. Now, if I can, what I'm going to try to do is winch to something on the other side so I can pull myself across using the winch. Then again, on this right side, it doesn't look too super deep, so let's give it a shot. Yeah, slide into low gear. 
Okay, we're starting to sink. It's going to low, low gear. We're gonna be able to make it. Okay, let's pull ourselves with the winch. Let's detach it. Let's see if we can keep going. Let's get to uh, get low gear. Up, up, upped up a little bit. Okay, we're slowly moving forward. Let's see if we can up it one more time. Nope, now we're just kind of spinning. Alright, so let's go low gear again. Okay, now we're not even spinning. Okay, so we got a winch over there. Let's hope we can get across. We knew that this would be a challenge for the armor. So let's detach and let's get up. Go, 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 go. Okay, there we go. We're moving forward. There we go. Okay, let's head back into automatic and see how far that gets us. Oh, we got another tree here. Can we slide by or we have to go around to the right? Oh, look at that. Just a molten tree right over. Excellent. Oh, I think the upgrades. Oh boy, this is going to be a nasty road. Okay, so our objective is right up here. And I say that like it's going to be easy to get there. We'll look at all that water. Alright, that's right away. I slide into low gear. We're going to stay to the right and see if we can avoid it. I wonder if that car will be a future mission where we have to pull it out. I knew, I do remember seeing a lot of that in the trailer, so I'm wondering if that's like Russian stuff. So I haven't seen any of those kinds of contracts here. Okay, we're doing okay. Let's not panic just yet. Okay, it's going to lower gear. Oh crap! Now we should probably start to panic a little bit. Let's flinch to this little guy here. And Yank ourselves out. Okay, let's get on the gas. Okay, we're just about out. We gotta be careful because there's a freaking hill right here, so we may flip it. Turn the wheels left and right. Here we go, and we're free. Okay. Okay, and there we go. We have made it to our objective almost. Just a little bit more. And that's it. We made it. We just gotta get to that yellow piece. Come on, get to the yellow. And we're there. So we're gonna press X and we're gonna get our upgrade. And it is an engine. Let's see what the truck is compatible for. Inter International Transstar 4070A. I think I have one of those, but I'm not 100% sure. Alright, and let's hit that. X button there, or A button there, and let's go ahead and recover this back to the garage. And so there you have it. We finally made it to one of the three of the upgrades. We will end the episode here, and I do appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment your thoughts below, and I will see you guys in the next video.